man, I'm telling you, Time Warner needs to get their stuff together. There's been like uh, several several times now. Like it seems like at least once a week, I get these days where the internet just doesn't want to stay streaming for more than a few minutes at a time, and uh, it's not on my end. I've obviously tried to do everything to prevent that kind of stuff, but uh, it's like they throttle me during the day or something. Uh, Ziggs champion shard. Officer Caitlin. Slaughter Fleet Ward Shard. Archduke Nasus. You know, I I really like this skin. I wish it had some better animations on some things. I just like the fact that he's got the the pimp cane and you can uh get that plus six on the pimp cane going. Alright, Santa Gragas. But you see what I'm saying? Like I, I haven't seen like the Alien Invader, Heimerdinger. Um it would be really cool since um, you you have no way to get it through the referral service anymore if they would do uh, like medieval twitch or what was the other one like silver warwick or something not necessarily like skins that you had to do something particularly special for like uh, black alistar or something but um, or even like the pack skins I, I don't think they should include those in here but at the same time like Skins that even when they were available were super hard to, to be able to get and now they're never available because they did away with the referral service. So I feel like at least Medieval Twitch should be, you know, uh, one of the types of special skins that you can unlock. And he may be, but I've just never seen it. Uh, Alistar Champion Shard, huh? All right, let's go. Anivia. Northern Storm Bolivar. That was actually one of the first skins I ever owned. And I don't know if you guys saw this today, but it says... uh. Elise has been disabled due to a game breaking bug. So, Elise super broken right now, apparently. Game breaking. A game breaking bug for a spider. Commando Lux. Um, another one I haven't really seen skin pop up is the Steel Legion stuff. I haven't seen, you know, that Steel Legion Garen. Redeemed Riven. We're already like 40 chests in and still nothing that's like super impressive. Snow Day Bard is an epic skin, so that's okay. So, so far it's taken about 40, 40 chests just to get three epic skin shards. Wicked LeBlanc. Project E. Hey, we got a legendary. And we've already learned in the previous broadcast that uh, if you have three legendary skins, don't reroll them because it doesn't mean that you'll get a permanent legendary skin. Uh, we rolled three legendary skins and got a 520 RP skin. Uh, Scorched Earth, which is an epic. Iron Solari.
And yeah, for those of you who haven't heard, they're adding some new things to Hextech Crafting coming up. Um, I don't know if they're publishing it on this version of the PVE patch or the next one, but uh, they're doing things like blueprints and stuff so that you can get uh, special login screens and things like that. Bilge Water Crest, Summoner Icon. I wonder if that's a permanent. I think that's a permanent, right? That's not just a, a shard, or is it? Oh, it's because I already own it, and I already own that one. That's why they both went over there. Uncle Rise. The Zen Zhao Champion Shard. Hmm. So many champion shards. I would say it's somewhat equally distributing at the at the moment. I know before like <clears throat> I was getting champion shards a lot more than I was getting skin shards. And again, when you're a person who hey, we got a gemstone. If you're a person who already owns all the champions, that can be extremely frustrating because yeah, you can use it for blue essence for upgrading and whatnot, but you know, every once in a while you just want to feel rewarded with that free skin. You know, especially if you already have two and you're waiting on one for a reroll for a permanent skin or something and you keep getting champion shards. Musketeer Twisted Fate. Okay. Blacksmith Poppy. And we're about... We've opened 54 so far. We still got 56 to go. Soul Reaver Draven. That was an epic, so... I won't really focus on what champion shards it's given me just because... You know, I already have all the champions, and as you can see, it is given a lot of duplicates, two and three of some of them. Um, but I definitely will look and see, you know, how many epics, how many legendaries, and then what it gives us as permanents when we reroll, and if it's worth it. Okay. Another Northern Storm Volibear. Warrior Princess Sivir. It's it's not my favorite in-game skin, but I love the splash work for that. Um, I always, whenever I play Sivir, and I was a Sivir main for two seasons, um, whenever I play Sivir, I always use that skin just because I like the splash. Like, it looks nothing like her, it just looks very anime and because I'm a weeb. Wildfire Zyra. We got another legendary with the Blood Lord Vladimir. Beast Hunter Draven, which is a relatively new skin, so if you don't have it already. Still haven't really unlocked anything that was a permanent. Um, it's mostly just all been champion shards and some decent skin shards and some that were kind of questionable so far so uh, haunted Zyra that's two um, really good Zyra skins though but yeah don't get too excited just because when you see those skin shards just for simply for the fact that like it's not like it's giving you the actual skin, because what you're getting here is most likely 
not what the finished product is going to be um, by the time you re-roll or unless unless you have a lot of orange essence and you want to uh, <clears throat> make one of them permanent from that so and a lot of those epic and legendary skins like uh, we'll take a look at Bloodlord you basically uh, need 1520 orange and it only disenchants to 607 so I mean we'd be looking at needing over a thousand orange essence which means of course you know we could go through and disenchant a lot of those but in in all honesty like how often are you really gonna have this many skin shards to have that option to do that Kingpin Twitch. I wish they would go ahead and update Twitch's splash art. I know that they like switched the universal art so that it was I think it was the uh, the EU art that basically they show on NA now but like it's still even though they switched that part it's still his clunky design. Project Poro icon. And I didn't, I don't think I have that one, do I? No. Nope. But I can unlock it for 125 orange. Another prehistoric Anivia. Some more orange essence. And a gemstone. And a pentakill icon. So that was actually a fairly good chest. That had quite a bit in it. Aatrox. And so, like, with some of those, it'll just go ahead and <clears throat> um, throw them in your inventory up there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch to that Poro one. Exiled Morgana. Alright, we've gone through about 70 chests at this point. Another Uncle Rise. Nasus Champion Shards. Battlecast Velkaz. I think Velkaz is one of the only champions left on my main account that uh, I don't have any skins for. Velkaz and Nami. I, I think I have no skins for those two champs. I'm pretty sure I have at least one skin for every other champ. And at some point I'll try to... Ooh, a legendary Black Frost Anivia. Um, at some point I'll probably try to finish it out and make sure I have at least one skin for every champ on the main. Final Boss Vaker, another legendary. <coughs> So I think now, like, <clears throat> excuse me, as we're getting down to the bottom of these, we've opened uh, 83 chests so far. It may be assessing what we've got and trying to make up for some of them, Infernal Alistar. Scion. Warring Kingdoms Nidalee. Another Shaco.
Aviator Irelia. Lux. Shadow Evelyn. Which I think is funny because I know she's blue, so her shadow, like the reverse of her, makes her into like regular skinned. So I think that's kind of funny actually. Could just be me, but I find it hilarious. Misfortune. Trendemere. Another Gragas. Seems to be get Gragas more than more than any of the other ones. And I don't think we've seen any of like the top tier champion shards like uh I haven't seen any champion shards for like I don't see Lee Sin up here. I don't see Lucian. I don't think JK I don't know. I don't see Lucian. Uh we Yasuo, yes. Even Victor, I guess, would count. But, like, you know, some of those 6,300 RP champs, there is an Azir. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to... It gives you a lot of those mid-range, like, 1,350 to 3,150 RP champs most of the time. Now watch it make me a liar and pop off like, <clears throat> you know, a Lucian or something here. Hey, we got a Kindred. And a Gemstone. So how many Gemstones has it given us total so far out of 98 chests? We've gotten 5 Gemstones. So you get about, what is it, 5 Gemstones per 100 chests then? Is that what it, it basically is going to boil down to? So for those of you wanting to get those 10 for the Hextech Annie or the Soul Stealer Vein, plan on opening around 200 chests. Which is a good bit of money. Blade Queen Lissandra. Tristana. Alright, we're down to the last seven. Another Malphite. Zillion. Five to go. What's going to be in these last five? Tarek. The Gingerbread Ward skin. And it's just a shard. Armor of the Fifth Age Tarek. Two more. So let's see. Keep your fingers crossed, right? Another Gong Ward. That's three of those. And the final one. Is a Mundo Champion Shard. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start the crafting part by re-rolling... So we've got, uh, we're going to, we'll start with 750 skins, so we'll re-roll that one. Let's find another 750. Uh, Tarek. And Draven. We're going to re-roll this and see what we get.
hazmat Heimer. So, I don't, uh, I don't know if that was a good deal or not. So we're going to go, uh, let's see, 975, yeah, let's roll some 975s. So we got the Varus, the Poppy, <coughs> and the Exiled Morgana. And we're going to re-roll that. Remember these were 975 for Charred Maokai. Pretty sure that's either 520 or 750. Actually, we already own it. And it was a 975, so that's good. Um, we'll go with the 520s. Reroll that one, that one, and that one. And Explorer Ezreal. Bleh. Okay, which we already own. So, the good news is, is we can, instead of re-rolling... Actually, what, can we roll just one? Nah, you still have to roll three. Okay, let's not do that. We're gonna disenchant that one, because we already own it. And we're gonna disenchant this one, because we already own it. And then we're going to keep going. Um, let's see. We're going to do... Let's re-roll some more 750s. Where's another 750? There. Okay. I don't know why I did that, but we're going to do that one, that one, and what was it? This one? And yes, so it will give you permanent skins of champions that you already own, obviously, as you just saw. Got two two permanents in a row for skins that we already owned. Alright, so we're going to do some 1350s. Both of those are Velkaz and Blade Queen, Lissandra. And let's see if we get... An epic or a legendary. These are all three epic skins. And it gave us Deep One Cassidy, which is a 520 skin, I believe. And I tried to make up for it with some orange essence, but, you know, let's see. Yeah, that was a 520 skin. So we pretty much traded three legendaries. Or three epics for a 520. Alright, so now we're going to do some 1820s. We're going to do this one. And this one. So here's three skins that have a 1820 value on the final skin. We're going to re-roll that. And gave us Mighty Jacks, which not only is... A cheaper skin I mean yeah it's a harder skin to find but it's still relatively a cheap skin let's see 520 so yet again re-rolling epic and legendary and getting 520s so we're gonna do some 975s Spectral Fiddlesticks, which I believe is a 520. And obviously one that we already have, so. Alright, so we're going to reroll some 1820s now. Which I'm pretty sure none of these are. Alright, so that's that's all we have of the 1820s. Um, we'll throw a 1350 in there. We'll 
Blast Zone Heimendinger, a 520 skin. Eh, we'll just go ahead and unlock it. Why not? Unlocking failed. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so either they're having server issues or our Time Warner is at it again. So I'm just going to start re-rolling stuff, see what happens. Could be that the server is going down. Heartseeker Oriana. Maybe that's why they all keep popping up over here, uh, even for the ones that I don't own, is because it's having trouble adding it to the permanent inventory at the moment. But uh, we did get an, an epic Oriana out of that re-roll, by the way. Lumberjack Scion. Cryocore brand. Alright, three roll. Ace of Spades Ezreal. That honestly not that not it doesn't have like great animations for it or anything, but that Ace of Spades Ezreal has slowly become my favorite Ezreal skin. Just because one, Pulse Fire's just way overdone. Sown Chaos Oriana. And uh I don't know, I like I just like the 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 way that skin looks in game. And it's different. You don't see everybody using it. Leopard Nidalee permanent. And some more orange essence. So now that we have like a ton of orange essence, we could technically could go through and pretty much activate any of these as permanent that we wanted, but for the purposes of this, we're seeing what happens on random rerolls. Warrior Princess, permanent. Like I said, that is my favorite Sivir Splash, but not necessarily the end game. And I think it's still a relatively cheap skin. Rune Wars Renekton is not a bad skin. Midnight Ari. And at least this way we'll get to see exactly what permanent skins we've gotten based off of these rerolls. Except for the ones that I went ahead and rerolled a while ago. Which I should have just let them sit all over here. Dragon Blade Talon. Team Spirit Anivia. That Team Spirit Anivia is such a bad skin. <laughs> like, I don't like it. Um, Alright, the last three. Popstar Ari. I think that's still a relatively expensive skin. Okay, so now they're being added to the inventory now, so... Maybe it'll let us do it. So we got that Ace of Spades Ezreal. Nope, still says it failed. 
not sure what's going on with that. Just some kind of glitch. Unless, like I said, it, it they all say unlockable. I'm pretty sure I don't own them. I don't know why it's doing that, but yet yeah, took the Popstar Ari one. Um, let's do... These were the uh, permanent icons. We're just going to re-roll all three of them and see what what one it gives. Project Z. Okay. And let's still put it over here. Uh, let's do a wards and see what happens. The Widow Ward. I actually kind of like that ward, to be honest. And like I said, we have five gemstones, so technically we could forge into five more chest and key sets. Uh, the Hextech Ward skin, which is what we're going to do. Because I already have the vein and the Annie. So we'll add that to loot. And hopefully the next time when I log on, all this stuff will actually, I'll be able to actually add it to the inventory. And as you can see, we have a ton of champion shards that can be disenchanted to the, the essence there, which I'm not going to do that today. But, um, yeah, so with the few permanents that did get added to the inventory, and then these, as you can see, uh, Ace of Spades, Ezreal, Blast Zone, Heimer. So we got 750, 520, 975, one epic, 520, 520, 520. 975, 750, and 520. And to be honest, uh, we had to open 110 chests to get to these. So I would imagine the money conversion there. Because let's see, 10, 10 of these is 1950 RP, which is roughly about $15. So 150 bucks, these are the skins you would have gotten. And for me personally, especially if you're looking for one particular skin, um, I think the $150 would have been better spent purchasing the skin straight up from the store. Uh, just personal opinion, which is why I do this. I, I test this out on my PVE account. I uh, Oh, I guess I already did own that. But... um. I test these out on the PVE account just for the fact that we're going to disenchant it because I already own it. I'm really, I, I spent a lot of money on my main account uh, in the three years that I've been playing. And when I say a lot, like, I mean more than I am willing to admit. And, uh,. <clears throat> I, I wanted to be smarter about the purchases and the impulse buying and that kind of thing. And while it is tempting to just buy these chests and keys and whatnot, um, it's better to just let them fall randomly in your games, you know, and uh, just stockpile them and open them at some point without spending money on them. Uh, that would be your best bet because, like I said, if you're if you're looking to spend a hundred and fifty dollars for ten skins that you know are basically three for ten dollars for the most part um, you know that's it's really up to you but I I feel like purchase the the skin I, I I think I said this on the last one just purchase the skins straight up and uh, you'll save a lot of money and you'll be a lot happier with the skins that you get because while there is quite a bit of a rush while you're open them is like the excitement of what you're gonna get um, the ultimate feel at the end is kind of disappointment it's all it feels almost like gambling uh, it's fun while you're spending the money because you're excited and you have high hopes to get something and then all of a sudden um, you know you really can't you're, you're real disappointed with everything and so that that does become an issue let's see if it'll let us oh it's okay it's gonna let us do it now so we're no nope, still saying unlocking failed so uh, I did it for the icon it's not doing it for the skins for some reason um, 
I think it has something to do with the server, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end that here. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys and do another chest opening. Uh, if you like this, I will probably do this every once in a while. Uh, just to have a reason to even log into my PBE account. And, uh, you know, we'll bust chests. We'll, we'll test out the new Hextech crafting stuff when uh, the new patch releases. And uh, until then, man, good luck with opening your boxes and have fun with your games. And if you're climbing, uh, hoping that everybody gets at least gold by the end of the season to get whatever free victorious skin is going to be out there. So uh, have fun out there and good luck on the rift.